Hello, I'm Dudley Thompson, and welcome again to WDT Media TV. We are back here at Quarry Park in the Civil Gardens area. We earlier we reported a burst pipe or underground leak in this area. The Water Commission were notified. They asked for directions to the spot. It was given to them. They came and looked, but didn't perform any task as to rectify the, under the underground leak now in Quarry Park in the Sea Red Gardens community. We showed you earlier water running along Quarry Park for almost 10 days now. And here are the source of the leak along Quarry Park in the community of Sea Red Gardens. Here for quite a while now. And they came and they promised to return to rectify this leak along Quarry Park in the Sea Red Gardens community. It's here along Quarry Park. Here is the source of the leak. Not as intense okay. as the last time we saw it, but it's still leaking. And water runs along here and onto Maho Drive. And you can see it continues to run all the way down through this gate. Water runs along the roadway and down the drain at Maho Drive. We're back here at White Wing. Where earlier we saw water going to waste along Maho Drive, resulting from underground leak. And now we're seeing on White Wing more water going to waste. Looks like someone did some laundry earlier. So put evidence and left the pipe running like this here along the work site on White Wing. There's the evidence. Despite all occupants got notice to vacate this area from yesterday. We are now at the top of the area in White Wing where they we started out the stormwater drain at this area. I can see white markings going across there. So more pipeline work will take place here. Apparently sewer drains will be run across this area. And this area where the white line running. The sewer drains will be run along that area. By the wall, we see that for mustard seed, there will be no units beyond that area. I've been told that it would be a, it will be a play area for a new occupant of the new white wing. There's a strong possibility that it could have also have a name change. It could be a new name, new beginning for persons who will be the occupants or the owners of the new unit on the new White Wing housing project. And as we showed you earlier, the path for the stormwater drain You can see so the storm water drain you can see
been run and directly into the gully so as you can see it will be running out there into the gully that's well for the storm water drain On this gully, it's a Jew gully that run across Maho Drive and across Olympic Way and Spanish Town Road. And it goes to, and it will go down into Stevie Gardens and down into the sea. So this is for the stormwater drain from the site. Look like three feet in diameter. I give you an inside look of the stormwater drain. Let's look on the inside and give you a look of the stormwater drain. I look up the inside, you can see it. I look inside of the stormwater drain, as you can see. The inner part there of the storm water drain. Oh, trying to get out now of the storm water drain here. Ah, the right white wing, the party decorations are coming down slowly. You can see on the ground there. Evidence that party kept here some time ago is, is on the door, as you can see. Mm -hmm. We are joined by a commercial operator at White Wing who was given until the 4th of March to vacate the property. So tell us now, what, what is your next move now, given the notice to quit, quit the property by the 4th of March? Well, you know, it's not all the time it is, but we just stick it out until they come up with an offer. Mm -hmm. Because everybody that owns them business deserves some type of a, a, a compensation for them business, which keeps their livelihood. There was meetings between the NHD, the operators, and the member of parliament about compensation. How far advanced are those meetings? Those me meetings haven't reached anywhere, as far as I know it. Uh, the last two meetings, the member of parliament for the NHD was working, working out a figure. Mm -hmm. So the people that operate the businesses should be contacted and um, maybe compensated mm -hmm. due to the value uh, the business are uh, almost the business um, in here yeah. bringing so we haven't heard any such thing from that meet, meeting that happened prior and now a given notice has been put up again again for the fourth and that's passed already exactly and today is, is the the sixth the, yeah the sixth or the seventh i think yeah you understand so i don't understand these people these people are destroyed with a livelihood and this is a multi-million dollar billion dollar company. Mm -hmm. Come on man. You know, people would have just accept something for them property. So that's still, so that's still waiting on compensation from the NHDs, re those who operate commercial entity mm -hmm. at ten Olympic Way. Mm -hmm. And still waiting on the member for member of parliament, parliament to make some, some representation yeah. on behalf of the person here. Yeah and the people them at the Zell constituency. Yes. And she has she she hasn't been pushing the narrative of people being compensated for the businesses. Yes. Alright. Mm -hmm. yeah. As yeah. soon as you hear this on the media now, uh, you, uh, you might hear some reactions. Uh, I hope you see it, I hear it um, soon. I mean, we're going to send it to her. We're going to send it to her. Yeah, it to her. Uh, um, for, for, for her. To, response, yeah. Response to the people then that she is, she is, is representing. Re is representing. So, I hope to hear from Mrs. Brown about it. Alright, bless up. Yes. And now at a um, reuse barber shop at White Wing. Tell us all about the last notice to quit dated uh, May 4. Any plan to relocate from White Wing? 